peace and sport friends around the world, we welcome you today for the last announcement of the 2020 Peace and Sport Awards, the champion for peace of the year. My name is Marlene Arnois. I'm an Olympic medalist in Taekwondo and champion for peace. What an exciting and unique edition of the Peace and Sport Awards it has been this year. Sharing moments with the Peace and Sport family is always wonderful, like the 2018 Peace and Sport Regional Forum in Rhodes, where I had the privilege to lead workshops with children in the ancient Greek theater. Or last year, when the Peace and Sport mobile application was launched during the Peace and Sport International Forum, and so many inspiring sessions took place, in the One Monte Carlo Business Center here in Monaco. Over the last days, we have announced the four Peace and Sport winners from various and several iconic locations of the Principality. Today, we're inside one of the most famous buildings in Monaco, the Casino of Monte Carlo. It was built in 1893 by French architect Charles Garnier, and it's known for its luxurious decoration in Belle Epoque style. Here we are in the Atrium, which gives access to the jewel of the casino, the Monte Carlo Opera, the Salle Garnier, where the exciting award ceremony took place last year. Together with me is the president and founder of Peace and Sport, Mr. Joël Bouzou. Good morning, Mr. Bouzou, and thank you for being here with us today for the announcement of the Champion for Peace of the Year. Good morning, it's a great pleasure for me to be with you here today. Mr. Buzu, the Champion for Peace are one of the pillars of peace in sport. Could you tell us more about their actions? Yes, uh, absolutely. The Champions for Peace uh, play a fundamental advocacy role within uh, peace and sport. They are role models, heroes and a source of inspiration for the young people around the world. It's very important for, for us to have such uh, champions on board who are committed and who want to contribute to peace. Indeed, they play a very powerful role. Thank you very much, Mr. Buzu. It is now time to reveal who is the Champion for Peace of the Year 2020. We've all been waiting for this moment and now His Serene Highness Prince Albert II of Monaco will announce the winner. It is a great pleasure to announce the Champion for Peace of the Year. The example of champions performing and playing fair on the field is of utmost importance to influence the youth but during these uncertain times, it is even more important to recognize those who are also positive role models outside the playing field. At Peace and Sport, we honor those who use their influence to create a lasting impact on society and contribute to a better and more peaceful world. So let's see who the winner is. The champion for Peace of the Year is Lionel Messi. Lionel Messi's sporting achievement is paramount. We believe that the example he sets as a role model for fair play on the field and also his social contribution makes true impact in today's society. Congratulations to Lionel Messi. Thank you very much, Your Highness. Now let's hear Lionel Messi's reaction to the announcement. Gracias, Su Alteza Serenísima, y Señor Busu, por este premio Peace en Sport. Bueno, la verdad que es un, una alegría por este lindo reconocimiento, si bien no hago eh, las cosas por, por reconocimiento o, o por la de ellos, ni mucho menos, pero bueno, eh, es muy lindo poder recibir, así que lo agradezco. Bueno, creo que es un reconocimiento eh, bueno, significativo, siempre intento de de respetar a todo el mundo dentro de, de una cancha, si bien eh, quiero ganar siempre y competir, eh, creo que el respeto por, por todo es lo, lo principal, así que, que bueno, ganarlo está bien. Bueno, no solo yo, ni sino todo, todo jugador, creo que tenemos una, una responsabilidad, sobre todo con los más chicos, que que miran y copian muchísimo, pero siendo sincero siempre intento de, de ser yo mismo, de, de, de ser como soy y, y creo que es la manera más fácil de, de, 
de trasladar las cosas a los demás, ¿no? de ser uno mismo y, y siempre eh, respetando los valores que, que, que me enseñaron de chiquito, respetando y, y trabajando al máximo para, para los objetivos. Sí, la verdad que sí que tenemos muchísimos eh, planes, gracias a Dios pudimos ayudar a, a muchísimas cosas, de, a muchísima gente de, desde que se creó la, la fundación, era uno de los objetivos eh, míos y de toda la gente que trabaja al mi alrededor por, por ayudar a los más desfavorecidos y por suerte lo pudimos hacer y lo seguiremos haciendo mientras que, que se puede y ojalá sea por, por muchísimo tiempo. Lionel Messi, what a great champion for peace. Mr. Buzu, would you like to say a few words about Lionel Messi, the new member of the Champion for Peace Club? Lionel Messi is the best champion on the field. Moreover, he has always put uh, sporting values first. Respect, solidarity, perseverance, equality of chances, all of them ahead of any result. In addition, his remarkable work fostering education and development of the youth makes him a great role model. Also outside the field, it is therefore a great honor for peace and sport for all of us to welcome Lionel Messi to the Champions for Peace Club. Thank you, Mr. Buzu. I would now like to invite our Vice President, Didier Drogba, and the last two years winners, Champions for Peace, Blaise Matuidi and Sia Colissi, for the reaction on the appointment of Lionel Messi as Champion for Peace of the Year. Hello everyone, as Champion for Peace myself and as Vice President of Peace and Sports, it is a great pleasure to welcome Lionel Messi in the Champion for Peace Club. On a football pitch, fair play means playing by the rules, respecting your teammates, the opponents and the match officials, and also acting against discrimination. And I can tell that Lionel Messi always demonstrates to be a great role model for fair play, setting the example for the younger generations of players and for millions of children and fans all around the world. And this is exactly what we, Champions for Peace, do. We contribute with our fame to promote values and encourage communities through sports. All my congratulations and I'm sure that this award will motivate him even more to continue to the great work. Thank you. Hi, Leo. Congratulations for your award of Champion of Peace and Sport. As we know, you are a fantastic player, but also a great person inside and outside the field. I believe that us athletes are an example for the society. That's why I'm very honored to welcome you on your, our big family of peace and sport. Congratulations again, Leo. Take care. Hola, Lionel Messi. Uh, Sia Khaleesi here from South Africa. Um, I want to say congratulations for being the champion for peace of the year. Um, you've really done an amazing job on and off the field. Uh, you're an amazing role model. A lot of the people around the world look up to you, so we are excited and we want to say welcome to the Champions for Peace Club. Uh, we're really excited to have you. We know you add great value. We can't wait to meet you and see you and work with you in the future. Thank you for everything you've done. You're an amazing man. Muchacho, gracias. We thank all of the Champions for Peace for their great works. Yes, it is true. We Champion for Peace have an amazing mission. We have now come to the end of the 2020 Peace and Sport Award celebrations. Thank you, Marlene. Thank you, Mr. Buzou. Now I would like to thank uh, the jury members for their valuable contribution, as well as to congratulate all nominees and winners. Once again, I welcome Lionel Messi in the Peace and Sport family. It has been a great journey filled with outstanding Peace Through Sport initiatives. Fantastic personalities from the Peace and Sport movement and beautiful places of Monaco. 
We would like to thank our official partners, Zepter and my coach, and all other partners who supported the Peace and Sport 2020 award celebration campaign. And of course, all of you who followed us through this digital edition. We hope you've enjoyed it as much as we did. Follow Peace and Sport on social media and do not miss the closing message from Peace and Sports Vice President Didier Drogba on December 19th. See you next year for the 2021 edition of the Peace and Sport Awards. Thank you very much and goodbye.